Dominica's former president, Dr. Nicholas Joseph Orve Liverpool, has been laid to rest. In a somber ceremony on Friday, June 19, former colleagues, mentees, international, regional and local friends, loved ones and family came to say goodbye to a national treasure. Dominica's president, His Excellency Charles Savre and Mrs. Savre, Honorable Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt and Mrs. Skerritt, Honorable Speaker of the House of Assembly Alex Boyd Knights, Members of Cabinet and Parliament, Members of the Diplomatic and Consular Corps, Former President Mr. Eliud Williams and Mrs. Williams, and Friends of Dominica paid their respects to a man hailed far and wide as one of the greatest legal minds of the Caribbean. That included the Governor Generals of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, St. Kitts and Nevis, and Antigua and Barbuda, the Honorable Prime Minister of St. Lucia, Dr. Kenny Anthony, Justices of the OECS Supreme Court, Governor of the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank, Sir Dwight Venner, Baroness Patricia Scotland, and so many others who have crossed paths with the former president. Main celebrant Bishop Gabriel Malzair, in his homily, spoke the sentiment that was no doubt on many minds on Friday. It is a loss on many levels. I think I would be correct in saying that the magnitude of today's attendance is indicative of the enormity and the multi-leveled nature of that loss. Persons have hailed from far and wide to be part of this sacred and national movement. In the media the past few days, a great deal has been said about the one whom we celebrate today, his personality, his impressive credentials, his altruism, his numerous achievements, his dedication to work, his love for family and country, all contributing to the sum total of the person whom we know as Dr. N.J.O. Liverpool. Here are other scenes from the service. None of us lives for oneself. And no one dies for oneself. For if we live, we live for the Lord. And if we die, we die for the Lord. So then, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. Nick was given the promise of eternal life in baptism. Lord, give him communion with your saints forever. Lord, hear us. We pray for our brothers and sisters, our relatives, for all who were close to us and good to us. Lord, give them the reward of their goodness. Lord, hear us. We pray for all who have died in the hope of us rising again. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your presence. Lord, hear us. Dr. Nicholas Liverpool has had a long and illustrious career in law and is renowned throughout the region. He has lectured in Ghana, he has helped to open a law school for the government of the Bahamas and was the dean of the University of the West Indies. Dr. Liverpool served as High Court Judge in Antigua and in Montserrat and as Justice of Appeal in Grenada, Belize and the Bahamas. He also served as Dominica's ambassador to the U.S., as well as on several boards, tribunals, and commissions, including the UNESCO Governing Board. Dr. Liverpool was awarded the Dominica Award of Honor in 2003, and the Pocasset to Marigot Road was named in his honor last year. 
News of his death has elicited messages of condolence from distinguished regional organizations and professionals to his family and his country. Dr. Nicholas Joseph Orville Liverpool was Dominica's sixth president and served two terms. He died on June 1, 2015, just three months before his 81st birthday. Dominicans both local and overseas have agreed that former President Dr. Nicholas Liverpool will be missed for the impact he has had on the lives of those who knew him. GIS News spoke with some mourners at the state funeral last Friday and we now bring you some of their memories. I am feeling so sorry. I am feeling so sorry, sorry, sorry. Because he was a good man. I tell you, no, eh? he was a good man. He was one very interested in Dominica and in the youth and anytime he knew of something for young persons because I work in the juvenile court he would call me and you know speak to me about it if there's something he would um, at least put me on to that in fact um, sometime about a couple of years ago he some persons um, from New York came to him with some programs on alternative sentencing and he called me and discussed it with me and because of that I also spent um, some days in New York going to courts and looking at the um, and also visiting programs and I think this also helped in terms of um, how I um, I have had in terms of what I've had to, to, to contribute to the OECS because right now we have a juvenile justice reform project what I remember about him also is um, he always had a joke and he had this sort of coy smile. You know, I mean, whenever you're around him, um, even if you'd listen and be serious, there was some moment at which you'd have to smile. The last function I met him was, I was introduced to him in the receiving line at Fort Young for the president's dinner. And um, I wore a few more medals than this. And I was a little bit embarrassed. I said, I'm, I'm overdressed, I'm sorry, and he said, not at all, he said. You earn those medals, wear them with honour. So I'm wearing them with honour for him, especially today. Dr. Liverpool was a personal friend of mine uh, because of our family connection. And uh, I feel a great sense of loss. I have sympathised with the extended family. Dr. Liverpool meant so much to me because we shared so many moments together. So. I'm really saddened by his passing, and I know Dominica and the Caribbean, the, the world by extension, have lost a great son. He was my advisor, my confidant, everything I needed, I could call on him. We, all, we didn't live very far from each other, and if he called me at any time, I'd, I'd go to see him immediately. If he, I, I wanted to see him, he'd see me right away. Very humble man, very quiet, very bright. Never, any advice he gives you, you better ensure it's right. It's the best advice you can get. Local entrepreneur Herbert Suki Winston wore his Dominica Grammar School uniform in honor of his departed friend who had once lamented that he had not done enough to give back to his alma mater. Suki will remember this particular quote from Dr. Liverpool. Don't ask for more than what you actually give to life. And those are the words. And um, fortunately enough, those were the words that he mentioned to me, he uttered to me on the last day in office as the president of the state of Dominica. Just half an hour before he left office, he called me in and we had a one-to-one -one chat. And those were the words that he left with me. And he said, um, whatever happens, please carry the baton of good friendship. Dominicans and countless others will no doubt remember Dr. Nicholas Joseph Orville Liverpool for decades to come. <laughs> 